Do you suck at the aim booster? Does everyone make fun of you for being so slow? Fear no more, since I have the answer. The answer is a C-sharp application that hits every target with 100% accuracy. Or you don't believe me? Watch. So how do we make this beautiful application? Let me show you. First we'll make a new forms app in Visual Studio. The second step is that you add the Outfit X wrapper. If you don't have Outfit X then I suggest watching this other video on how to get it. I have it in the description so just look for it. Now we import a hotkey function from C++. We'll have the aimbot run in a thread. Now the main function, aimbot. For the aimbot to work we need some values. The pixel's color and the rectangle we will search it. We can get all of these with the outlet window tool. Now that we have the information about the color and the rectangle we will search in, we can actually make the function. So, uh, avoid paintball. And we'll have a while statement so it always runs while true. And true is always true. want to check if the user is holding the hotkey that we want. So we will do a if statement and if get sync key state and then key start. I will use the uh, mouse 5 I believe. It's a external button on the mouse. You can choose whatever hotkey you want, like up barrel or something, but I like using the mice. Mice is keys, so I'll use X button to go. Now, we'll make a new object, picks, and we'll make it to I had to close the door, my bad. As we thought, pixel search. And then, um, it takes in a lot of argu arguments. So it takes in the left first, which we have the coordinates for. So we'll type in our top left, and then our right and bottom. 
which are these coins. Taking the color that we searched for, which we also got. So, this is the color of the tar. After that, you could add variations, but we don't need that for this one. We, so, we will just leave it as this. So, now we'll do an if statement. Oh, actually, we want to make this in a try method, since it might return errors uh, if it doesn't fi find it and tries to move the mouse to that place. So we'll make the, all of this in a try step. And then, if you haven't tried, then you would have to have a catch. And we should be good. All of the... I will paste this in a paste bin for you, all, all of you to see if you, this is too hard to write yourself. But if pix isn't equal to... Uh, I forgot to string. So we take this object, pix, and turn it into string. If it returns something else than a one will keep on going. Since this is the way to see if there is an error. Now when we know there we ha actually have a location for this pixel, we will make it into an object uh, with coordinates that we can use. So object pix code. An array, kind of, equals to, then we have to do object, I think, and then fix. Yeah, we'll see in the future if this works, but we turn our fix object to an object as an array, so we can pick the location, and then we'll click on this coordinate, which we do this, mouse click, and then the bottom, which is the left key, and then the x coordinate and y coordinate. So, x is always first of things when you write coordinates. So the pix code and then index 0 will be... we actually need to... Uh, we need to just cast this as an integer otherwise it will make an error. Pretty sure. So we will have to cast this as an integer as well. Picks. Let's make this a bit bigger. Picks code and then the 1. So this is the x coordinate and this is the y coordinate. After that we can choose number of clicks, which is 1, and speed 1 millisecond. So to explain this, we check if we are holding the button down, and if we are holding the button down, we search for a pixel. We return it as an object, and we take the x and y coordinate from that object and click on it. So it's not that hard, and I will paste this on a paste bin, so you can look there if you're having problems. And last of all, we'll add a fred.sleep statement so it doesn't run too fast and let's start this and uh, 
open up aim booster. Let's have this in full, full screen. Speed. Alright, so I'm back. I found out the problem. <laughs> so, we got the coordinates messed up a bit. And we were not in full screen or something like that. But I got the correct ones now, which you can see on screen here. And we can test it again. So it works as intended. And thank you guys for watching. Source code is available in the description and be sure to subscribe, like, comment or even become a member if you want to support in that way. See you guys.